it's here. Our Bellroy Transit Workpack 20 liter review. This backpack is a part of Bellroy's Transit series. There's the 38 liter, the 28 liter, and then this guy right here, the 20 liter Transit Work Pack. Bellroy claims that this pack is the perfect fusion for your gym stuff, your work stuff, daily life stuff. But does it hold up to the high standard of Bellroy's other backpacks? And is this the best work life gym backpack for you? By the end of this review, you will know the answer to that question. All right, we're gonna kick off this review by talking about the overall gist of the Bellroy Transit Transit work pack. So this backpack is 20 liters, which is usually a pretty ideal size for everyday carry. One thing to note about this 20 liter, and I've been carrying this backpack around for the past five days, so I got some to say. Kind of feels like a 23 to 25 liter. Like this thing's got some size to it. It's a backpack that really would look great in the office, but also, you know, wouldn't look out of place on a hike, especially with the green color tab. Yes, and that was my next point. Me loves this green color. There's also three other options, black, blue, and like lunar. A quick run through some of the top features. We've got a quick access side pocket right here. Big chunky tech compartment in the back, which can fit up to a 16 inch laptop. And the main compartment, it's got this like clamshell opening and it is beefy. I mean, this is a big 20 liter backpack. There's a lot that you can fit in there. Look at the depth at the bottom, my God. Like all Bellroy products, it's got a little bit of organization, but it's mainly a minimalist sort of carry experience. And the comfort of the shoulder straps is great, but I'm not crazy about the back panel. I'll tell you why a little bit further in the review. And for all of what your eyes see before you, this backpack runs around 200 USD. Little, it's a hefty price tag. Is it worth it? Let's find out. Okay, let's talk about the front of the Bellroy Transit Workpack 20 liter backpack. First up, let's start with like the overall look on the front. You know, you got Bellroy's real subtle branding, this little, little leather tab right there. One thing I love about this backpack too, is they're actually using different types of material on the front and in ways that are kind of like, I don't know, it's just really innovative. All of Bellroy's materials are recycled. And you got like two materials. You got like this little ripstop nylon material right here, a little bit smoother to the touch. And then you have this material right here, which is a little bit more like denim-y with like plasticiness to it. It feels durable. And one other great thing about this material is it's highly weather resistant. Love the little leather pull tabs right here. They're a nice satisfying feel, like really smooth. And then we're into the front pocket. This pocket uses a nice creamy interior material. I love the color choice here. In this pocket, you have one, two pen holders, and like a little pocket, which is perfect for a wallet. Maybe even a Bellroy wallet. Bellroy Apex wallet review coming soon. One thing that I love about this pocket is the ease of access, right? You're walking down the street, you wanna grab your wallet to pay for something, maybe a little coconut water at the 7-Eleven, you unzip, you grab your wallet, and you're good to go. I mean, access is so easy. Almost as easy as hitting the like button. Next, let's chat about the middle of the Bellroy Transit Work Pack 20 liter. First up, let's talk about the water bottle pocket. As you can see, Bellroy has no water bottle pocket on the outside of the bag. They have this side pocket. Now the pro of this side pocket is it helps maintain a sexiness with the pack. And then let's see if the water bottle fits. I have an 18 ounce hydro flask right here. Just go ahead, put it in like that. Zipper up, ooh, nice tight fit. But here's the deal. If you got anything bigger than like a 20 ounce water bottle, I do not think it'll fit. This person who has like the big like one liter Nalgene, you're either going to carry it in the main compartment of this bag or you will not buy this bag or buy a new fucking water bottle. One thing I like about this pocket too though is like the versatility. Maybe you're not an avid water bottle carrier person. Then that means that this pocket can like sort of transform and carry other things. And flipping over to the other side, we have the same pocket, but it's not really designed for a water bottle because you've got your key ring chain here. The key ring itself is pretty basic. Uh, I, you know, it, it gets the job done. It's a super basic nylon band. Thing to note with both of these side pockets, whether it's the water bottle pocket or the key slash phone pocket, is yet again, accessibility. You're wearing the bag, you sling it over, you need to grab something, it's right here. Lazy Aaron is happy, never have to take the bag off. On the top, we got a pocket right here. Yet again, PU coated zips, all these zips are waterproof, love that. 
This is a small pocket. Your shades are perfect in there. Got my AirPods. I like this material. It's got a really nice feel to it. I assume there's probably some sort of scratch resistant properties to this material. Okay, now let's open up and get inside the main compartment. Oh, and I love the creamy color. Yet again, kind of helps to create a highlight effect. Over here, we have a mesh pocket. Nice stretchiness to the mesh. I'm using this compartment for like medical stuff. I've got a backup mask, hand sanitizer, backup tissues. And then moving on to the other side, it just kind of a throw all. I got my Air Slim pouch, another water bottle, glasses, laptop stand, Bluetooth keyboard, deodorant. So like I said, it's a beefy 20 liters. You can fit a ton of stuff in there. And there's no additional organization excluding this one pocket right here. Now I'm using this pocket for backup plastic bags. I carry plastic bags everywhere with me because you just never know when you're gonna need a plastic bag and a tote bag. But Bellroy advertises this compartment for your shoes. Now you can use it for anything. But if you're interested in the gym component of of this bag, this is where your shampoo, shampoo, shampoo your shoe. This is like, hey, this is where you put your shoes. Yeah, like, let me know in the comments below, like, would you put your shoes in this compartment? Let me know in the comments. I wanna hear what you gotta say. Next up, let's talk about the back of the Bellroy Transit Work Pack 20 liter. Tech compartment. It's like a quarter opening. It's split into two sections. We have the laptop section and then the bulky gear section. And I call it a bulky gear section because it really nicely fits bulky gear. Bulky glasses holder, bulky Bluetooth mouse. They fit really nicely in there. It's, or it's an ideal location for an actual tech pouch. So for instance, got my Air Slim pouch. Will it close? Mm-hmm. And then on the flip side, we have the laptop compartment. The divider gives a really nice amount of padding. Yeah, a little suspension. It stops about right here, so the backpack drops, your laptop will be safer than if it wasn't suspended. Yeah, it's decent suspension. It doesn't feel very tight and like very flush, but overall the user experience that I've had for the past five days with it has been just fine. Next up, we have a top handle. Nice little padding there, good stitching, just enough space to be able to hold it. It's a fine handle. Now let's talk about the back panel and the shoulder straps. First up, shoulder straps. I love the cut of these shoulder straps, very sexy. Bellroy does this thing where it starts very thick on top and it goes a lot thinner. But where it looks great for aesthetics, it's not perfect for comfort. These thinner straps, just so you can feel them a little bit more, right? But the straps themselves are really well padded. I love how minimalist they are. Like, love this green. Tab, do you like the green? I think it's really well designed. It, it just looks clean. It looks so clean. It's beautiful. On the bottom of the shoulder straps, we have uh, aluminum or metal hardware. It's really satisfying to use, and it gives the bag a more premium feel. And then even this, like Bellroy's cool little touches, like they don't just use the regular black nylon uh, for tightening and like loosening the shoulder straps. And then down here we have little dangle stoppers, which keeps um, the excess nylon dangle um, tidy, secure in, in its place. And while I've been a big fan of this backpack so far, I'm not crazy about this back panel. I've reviewed a shit ton of backpacks over the past year and a half. And I've really realized that a backpack at this price point, 200 USD, I want a back panel that provides me with ventilation. Cause although today was a level three typhoon in Hong Kong, the days prior were hot as shit. And there's something about this material that makes it even a little bit more like oven-y. If they would just give me some cuts, little EVA molding, right? Just so I can get a little bit of breeze on that back. I don't think I would have had many bad things to say about this bag. Let's discuss the pros and the cons. Pro number one, killer design. This is an aesthetical masterpiece, in my opinion. Pro number two, the quick access of the one, two side pockets. And pro number three is just the beefiness of this main compartment, which is great too, because not only can this be an everyday carry, but this can easily double up as a travel backpack for a weekend trip, no problemo. But there are some things I don't like about you, and I'm gonna tell everyone what they are. I don't care what you say. Con number one, back panel, wasn't feeling it. Or I guess I was feeling it in a way that I didn't like. And con number two is while this is advertised as a gym pack, I, I'm just not gonna put my shoes in this beautiful main compartment, hell no. So now's the time, the moment of truth. Is this the backpack for you? If so, and you're like, dude, totally getting me the Bellroy Transit Work Pack. Why is that hard for me to say? And you're going to make a purchase. We do just ask that you use the first link in the description, just right down there. That link makes sure that you get the best price. You don't want to rip off bag. And it also helps to support our Nomads Nation YouTube channel. Thanks so much. But you also might be here and be like, ah, it was so close. I can't do it. I want something similar. Give me an alternative recommendation now, Aaron. Okay, calm down, <laughs> I got you. Alternative recommendation number one, the Bellroy Melbourne backpack. This is for you if you're like, you know what? I'm digging the Bellroy vibes. 
and maybe you don't need one so big and maybe you don't need the whole like gym aspect. We did a full review of the Bellroy Melbourne backpack. To learn more about it, just go right down in the description there and you'll find a link to our full review. Alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Air Duffel Pack 3. This is for you if you're like, dude, I was really looking for a gym backpack and what you said about the ventilated shoe compartment not being there, that's so right. I don't wanna put my shoes in the main compartment. The Air Duffel Pack 3 has its own ventilated shoe compartment, has a similar throw all sort of experience. And also the ventilation on the back panel is so good. And to learn more about it, you can just check down there and you'll find a link to the full review. If you're still here, it may be because you found this review to be useful. If so, cool. The best way to communicate that to us is just to simply hit the like button. That lets us and YouTube know that we're doing a good job. And we like to know if we're doing a good job. And also, do you own the Bellroy Transit Work Pack 20 liter? If so, let us know in the comments. What do you think about it? The back panel, make your back kind of feel like an oven like it did with me. Do you still put your shoes in that compartment? You living on the edge? I, I really want to know if you do. Your comments help this channel and just kind of the internet as a whole become a more educated place. Thank you so much. I'm Aaron. This is Nomads Nation. We'll see you next time. Good job, Aaron. That was great. Good job, Tab. That was great.